This is Blue. This is Nene. And today I'm going to show you how I got into Legendary League. And I'm going to show you a dirty deck for the new challenge, the Double Elixir Challenge. Well, like I stated before, at any time that I actually wanted to, I could get into Legendary League. The only reason before I wasn't in Legendary League was because I was trying a lot of different combos. People were asking me, how can I get into Legendary League with the combos I got, what are Legendaries? So I like trying a bunch of different combinations. But, um, you know, somebody posted before, well, if you're so good, why aren't you Legendary League? Uh, I was at 2200, and in two days I decided to, I was going to get a Legendary League, and I did. Got 800, 800 trophy points uh, since yesterday, and I really realistically did not lose very many, many matches. I think I won like 15 to 20 matches in a row and got into Legendary League. As you see on the screen right now, those are the cards that I use. Um, many people say that Sparky is a really difficult card to get into Legendary League, and <laughs> um, I don't know. I had a pretty easy time with it. Um, here is my Twitter. Please try uh, try to follow me at Twitter. I'm at rlblue underscore. Um, follow me at Twitter if you have any questions. Um, post there. And post in this on, on this video in the bottom, so we will answer them back as quickly as we can. Okay, so now I'm going to go to Clash. Uh, clans. Really? <laughs> Let's see if you're paying well, attention. We'll be uploading the Clash for Clans video pretty soon. Don't worry, guys. That game has not died. We just gotta hard to record that one. That game is hard to record. I think. All right. Oh, and I thank you very much for. Oh, I was gonna okay. say you won. No, man. <laughs> As you see there, I am in Legendary League. I have I did lose um, a couple of them in a row, so I'm really close to falling back out, even though I just got back in there. But Goofy Me always got me messing around in and then started playing with the with a different lineup once again. Of course, I went back to, to my my lineup. Okay, let's fill these up. Alright, let's see. Um, as you see here, I'm Ooh, friendly battle. As you see, I am first in the clan. Um, Nene was second in the clan, but he's been he's been messing messing around with a, with a lot of different um, yeah, I'm lineups. Really low now. He's been playing around with a lot of lineups. Is, is the truth. This was this, the this this is this is the lineup that I am currently using right now. Uh, that got me into Legendary League. Um, you okay, your profile. What is what is show yeah, your I'm, burst? I'm gonna show you what I'm using. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you right now an example of the double elixir yeah. challenge in Three Musketeer deck. That see, Nana has more than one account. Yeah, that's uh, my second account. He's, I mean, pretty he's pretty awesome in this game. Uh, oh, Three Musketeers upgrade. <laughs> so Finally. right here on my screen, oh, he just upgraded the Three Musketeers to level five. Yeah. All right. See, uh, see, you see the screen right here. This is the lineup he was using in um. And the double elixir tournament, he did very, very well with, with this. Um, I won five matches in a row without even losing. Yeah, five, you won five in a row without, without losing. It's All a, right, so it's I'm, very, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go straight to um, show six years, six years already. Posted six minutes ago. I'm gonna go straight to showing you uh, a couple of videos. All right. This is this is the now this is the match that got me into Legendary League. Let me show you guys the lineup I'm using right now. I'll show you. My blue on his screen will be showing you his lineup. I'll be showing you mine. <coughs> All right. So I like using. I like using. I'll use my skeleton uh, spawner as a defensive mechanism to kite things. I don't understand that use of tornado, but it was effective. But here it was getting a little a little pushy. Um, to be honest, it's not really really my style to be pushy to be a little more patient. But I got, I got a little, a little pushy there. Once he put that down, I knew he was going to be 
A big boy type of guy. Type of guy. Blush that would have a tank. Usually people who have tanks tend to use the furnace or usually the little skeleton spider. So I knew, I knew I needed to start setting up for whatever whatever tank he had. I was pretty sure it was going to be like a giant or golem. Um, the way I got into Legendary League was using Sparky quite a, quite a bit on a defensive end. Especially with big, big stuff like the golems or giants that have a lot of health. Um, but most other people recommend not to use Sparky that way, but to be honest, if you want, I like to, to consider him almost like a lightning spell. So this is how I do my mini push, is by using the ice golem in front of my hog rider to push all the way through. Giving my hog rider extra help and it explodes. He slows everything down. And if they drop a stud and I mean I just saw I just saw on the screen. He explodes it. Kill them all off. 30 seconds to go. My goal here was to play defense. To play defense in an offensive way. Thought if he was gonna drop anything big. And Sparky will take it out. At this moment, when I saw 691, I was like, oh, I think I got him. You see? Celebration time. And that was the win that got me into Legendary League. And one of my main things that I like to do with that deck is really use the ice golem, like I said, as a as a push. I drop the ice golem, hog rider, musketeer, and princess. And the hog rider will push the ice golem all the way to the tower. The tower will, will be shooting and shooting at the ice golem. And if they drop a skeleton army, then the ice golem will explode and kill that will kill the skeleton army and while the hog rider will still have most of his health if they don't drop a skeleton army then the ice golem will take all the hits <coughs> and we get to the tower the tower will continue to shoot at him because he was focused on him while the hog rider is just wailing, wailing, wailing on it. It explodes. It'll slow down. It'll slow down the tower. Like I said, right after the, the hog rider, I like to draw up the musketeer. So the hog rider musketeer shooting it with the princess sharp shooting it from far away, and I can take that out with that small little push. Not very much elixir cost. After that, I like to mostly play defense, using using um, my bowler as defense, pushing the troops away and away and away. And then if I feel comfortable, then I'll use the Sparky for a push. But to be honest, uh, even though it's a Sparky lineup, I use the Sparky less than I did before. Um, people you like to use Lightning Spell, I guess instead of Lightning Spell, I'll just use a Sparky. Um, I just don't use them as much. I use them defensively um, a lot more uh, lately to get into Legend League than I did before. I made them my main focus of the offense before, and at times that they shut that down with the Sparky and the Bowler was so much elixir that you would lose the match. So this is my, and I'm gonna show you here. I uh, see so already has six views. I just posted 19 minutes ago. Um, it was my first win in Legendary League. Ah, it sounds so beautiful, doesn't it? You see the bottom, it's almost lined up. If the Hog Rider was there, then I guess I would the Hog Rider. I like sniping buildings right away. I like putting 
I just want to right in that position to kite over the Mega Minion, which a lot of people tend to use. As you saw, I got more damage. Here we go. I dropped Ice Golem, and here goes my, my mini push. As you see right there. Unfortunately, the Hot Fire went around it at that time, but still very, very effective. As you see, I did quite a, quite a bit of damage. Now, if you watch the last, my spawners are confusing their Sparky. I dropped my Mega Minion, which just slapped around their Sparky. My Mega Minion isn't very high either, it's only level 6. Uh, my next focus is going to be to try to upgrade it. If you, if you saw, we're watching the video, you would see, saw that I'm requesting them now. I'm going to try to push them up to... I'm going to try to push him up into to level 7, maybe. He comes again with a Sparky push. Um, he's in legendary league, so he obviously knows what he's doing. It's pretty cool as my first victory to be against another Sparky user. Um, pretty great against any other Sparky user. I tend to win almost every match against another Sparky user. Probably about 9 out of 10. You see that? My Sparky just took out their Sparky, John. Didn't even get a single hit there. I got all my troops still alive. On top of that, they, they can boost up. I dropped the ice bomb there to protect the Sparky a little bit. That was a great sat zap right there. But as you see the musket here on the side, took it out. Um, what I like about the Sparky is, even if he doesn't get shots up, as long as I use him defensively and he starts going towards it push, people get really scared of Sparky. I think Sparky scares people more than anything else. So people really focus on trying to take out the Sparky. Which allows me to, to really run around him, drop the Hog Rider, Musketeer. I can see right here, I did a, a hard left. And try to snipe, snipe it with the pins over there. At this point, I'm like, I've got to play decent. So I'm using my, I said my spawning deck is decent. Um, to me, it's really simple, simple. To take out the Sparky. Use the Mega Minion. It's right here. It looks like they were taking out the Skeleton on it, but the bowler, fantastic. Roll that ball. Just, and see where I put. The spawner right up in the top top part. I dropped the hog rider right on the left side. I, I dropped my princess. I ran out of time. I only got one building. Could have got two if I had another second. One more swing by the hog rider. And there we go. And uh, I just upgraded my hog rider today to level eight. So as you see. Six views. I just got six views a little while ago. And um, if you go to my shop, there was a special offer here. It was a legendary one. It was $10. Legendary chest. Bucket of gems. Wagon of gold. I mean, this is a fantastic deal. Unfortunately, I got another Sparky. Uh, I really w would like to get... Uh, I really would like to get the miner and the ice wizard to play with. Now I have, a, I do have a second account. I really don't play with it very much. Um, it's Infamous X. I rarely use it. Rarely, rarely use it. But in, but that one does have uh, the ice wizard. I just like the ice wizard because he slows stuff down. Um, I went. I did um, a survey um, from from the, from the people in the le leaderboards and um, for people on the TV's the TV Legendary Arena as to see which is the most used card, and it came down it um, it was the log, the zap, princess. Ice Wizard and Miners were the top ones. Um, not in that order. Well, the Log was number one. The Zap was number two. The Miner was third. Princess 
an Ice Wizard. Um, which is funny because those are not very common cards to get. But also the Hog Rider was up there. Um, Musketeer was not also in the top 10. Um, as you see my lineup. Uh, this is what I have now. There's a 3.8 Elixir. Um, I basically have stuck this same, this same lineup. I have tinkered a bit, a, a, a bit with it. Um, I almost got a Legendary League last week. Uh, it was like a win away and I, I started messing around with it. With it, um, I had the furnace in there, which is another good one. It takes out it will take out minion, um, but I really like the skel the skeleton the skeleton um, spawner the tombstone because when it breaks, a little bunch of bunch of uh, four of them come out and they destroy whatever is attacking them. So and it only costs three elixir. Uh, it's a 3.8 elixir. If you, I suggest if you want to get to, into Legendary League, you try to keep your elixir less than four. Um, there, there's a few of them that are um, few, very few that are higher than four. Uh, some, some do do um, do use their cards properly. Therefore, it's okay. Uh, for example, um, uh, here is one. This is another really, really good one if you want to get into Legend of Larry League and you only have, and you have, have the Lava Hound. Now, the Princess, I put the Princess in here. Um, you can actually use, it's supposed to be arrows. Uh, but I, I like using the Princess. And this is, uh, I put the Hog Rider. If you have the Miner, the Miner goes in there. But if you don't have the miner, the hog rider is good. Um, this is air, air, it's supposed to be arrows, but I like the princess, uh, so I put the princess in there. This is a really dirty deck. I mean, it's really dirty. Um, and it, um, and another legend keeps playing with a bunch of different lineups, uh, like like I do. We like experimenting, uh, but I finally decided I was gonna push into legendary league, and it just realized that it took me two days. With, with this lineup, on his, um, I was a, he he really likes the lava hound, um, so I decided to experiment a little bit with a few stuff. He doesn't have the princess, so I put I put arrows, and I I put arrows in there instead, and I played with his accounts, and I won, I won every single match that I did with him. This is such an easy, easy, easy account or easy setup, easy deck. To get into legendary now it's 4.3 and like I said most of them are supposed to be less but this is really, really if you use the cards properly it's really easy uh, you, you, are, you start you would start with the lava hound um, once it lava hound uh, once you know it starts going you want to drop this somewhere towards the middle you can't say drop a hog rider or a prince or something quick like that it, it will I distract them and once it breaks up it, it'll it will stab the little skeletons will stab him plus your tower so it will take him out um, behind him behind the lava hound you want to drop these troops if you throw arrows right side you can drop the bigger horde now if they drop if they drop a horde then you use the arrows or the princess if you have that this is slowly used as a defensive troop so if they come running in you'd like to drop this to kite them towards towards it and then you, you like to use this to slap them around um this also obviously is a defense and offensive thing uh if they start doing a push from their side uh, a push from their side and they started behind their building uh once it starts going towards the front um towards the front if there's Two other things plus the building, you can hit. You can hit all three at the same time and do pretty, uh, pretty massive damage. This is the level three one. Um, as you see, 786 for troops, 315 for crown tower. Um, as you see, um, you don't have to have high level troops to get into legendary league. Um, you don't have to get half high level cards. Um, this is a six. This, th th I mean, this is a six. This is ju I just upgraded this tombstone, but to be honest, two tombstones a great card to have in, 
uh, how, how in almost any deck you use, it's only three. It's a good thing to, to kite stuff around. Um, I use this to kite stuff too, not just to push. Uh, Nana the Legend loves it says all the time that I have to be one of the best kiters. I am so good at, at just making things chase my stuff. I always say, go chase, go, go get, go, go chase my stuff. Um, um, my Musketeer's level 8, which is a good good level. Um, Hogwarter just got to level 8. I just upgraded it. Um, it wasn't too, too recently that I really started loving the Mega Minion. He costs 3. Um, his the amount of damage he does. You see he does 189, uh, 632. At, at, level, th uh, at level 6, um, if you look at my Musketeer, does more damage in my Musketeer. Uh, by 24, and the health is... what's the difference? The Musketeer here does, has a little bit more health, uh, but, I mean, it's two levels higher, and it costs one more. Um, obviously, it has, has more range. The Mega Minion has less range, but it's a great defensive unit. It is really slow, so, you know, something big is coming, it can fly over and just smack it around. Um, as you see, my cards are not maxed out. A lot of people have their cards maxed out. Yeah, because you're trash. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh, finished recording right now. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna about to upload all both of our videos. Watch both of our videos. As you see, my cards are not maxed out, so uh, I don't have maxed out cards. And I got the legendary league. Like I said, when I when I bought that one, I I drafted an, another sorry another Sparky. Um, to be honest, I was a little disappointed because this is a which. Um, this is a great lineup, and I really do love this lineup, and I will always love this lineup, but this is not a lineup that I believe I can sustain myself in Legendary <coughs> League if I want to stay in League. I don't think I can keep myself in this league and push myself up super far. There's just too many stuff to distract the Sparky, but I'm going to try to keep it, keep it, see, see if it works. Uh, maybe not use it as much. Uh, use it like a lightning spell, but it'd be a lightning, a lightning spell that, you know, stays alive. <laughs> In a sense, um, with any with any deck you have, it all depends which cards you use the most. Um, that's your true average. Now you, you see here it says three point eight. That necessarily means just how much you sp spend per card per game. It does, in a sense, says the average of it. But for example, if I use uh, the princes and the tombstone and the golem the most. Obviously, your averages throughout the game is a lot less. For example, I don't, I don't now with my new, my new style. I don't use a Sparky as much, or even the Bowler as much. So realistically, if you really want to do, if you really want to get a, a my true average, it's more, more of these six here. And if you see, only none of them are above four. So. I mean, if you do these two here, that will that that would make each other three. That's already three. That's already three. That's already three, and that's that's four. So that would actually make it uh, 3.2 average. If I only use these cards and not use these at all. I mean, obviously I will use them, but maybe once or even twice, maybe. Uh, while I use these four times, twice as more than any of these cards. Therefore, really dropping the average. To less than 3.8, and that's a little more complicated than I'm trying to say. But, um, so I guess that's pretty pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna show you the other legendaries I have. I do have uh, the lumberjack. Uh, I really love the lumberjack, but he just runs off with his little cuckoo. <laughs> uh, the front jack is great to take out big stuff, but that's pretty much it. The lava ham. Like I said, uh, he's he's a guy you build a whole deck around. Uh, like I said, I showed you my Lava Hound deck. It's now the one that is using. Um, he likes playing around with decks, but I think he's actually going to try now to, to move up the Legendary League. Um, but, like I said, he's like me. He'll he'll win a bunch of them, get close, and then go, oh, I don't really care. To us, it's not a big deal. We li just like posting and making videos, helping people out. So people really like, you give me... Something with with the, with the kind of cards I have and be sure a lot of people in our clan um, A lot of people in our clan they're like for example Atheo, Atheos Cowboys well, Most of these people, you guys in our clan I've helped build their decks 
I'm not saying all of them, but I've helped a lot of these guys. Uh, Le Legion of Muertes. Uh, this this lineup is 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 my lineup. I made this lineup for her. Um, a lot of these guys ask for a lot of advice. I've hel helped them. Dragon the Legends uh, is a friend of ours. Th uh, this this setup is one he just changed. Um, but the lineup previous to this was a lineup that I made for him. He was very successful. Uh, he was very successful with the other lineup. Um, Saint. Um, this is the lineup he's using with his Sparky. Um, it's a pretty good lineup. He just got the log, so he's trying to incorporate it into it. Uh, the pro that's always the problem. And when you get a new legendary, it kind of throws you off a little bit. Or you get a new card. Like, for example, I got close to Legendary League, and, um, again, I got cl close to Legendary League, uh, then the tornado, the tornado came out, and I was just using it with everything, and I just wanted to find ways to play with it and stuff, so I really, I, you know, I've won a bunch of matches, but to be honest, I lost more than I won, because I was just having so much fun playing with it, and practice is just really lame. To be honest, let's be honest, let's be all honest, practice just sucks. There's practice piece of crap. is a is a piece of crap. Now what'd be cool about practice would be if you can pick make it harder. Like if you're like for example I'm I'm level down 10. level ten or town ten, ten, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, it goes up to thirteen. Uh, maybe you can change the setting on it where you like can change pick what cards they use, what level you know the the level of of how hard it is to give you you know a more more of a difficulty so you can have a real better practice. Or even fight against Trainer Cheddar. <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> no, um... Wait, you can actually fight him now, I think. Yeah, you know what? I haven't really fought... I have never fought... You know, yeah, let's go to... Let's go to... You know, let's use this lineup. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see the dirtiness. Ooh! Um, Usually level eight when he plays you. Yeah. Good luck, yeah. Right. Just gonna beat you down I just wanna see what he's gonna do, so let's just start putting stuff out there. Well oh, that's really scary. That's scary. What? What? Never seen this before. Alright. Some fun here. Wow! Price is making efforts. That's what really matters. Maybe I should try them. <laughs> Bowler. 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 Well, I should have waited a little bit on that one before I did that. Yeah, I mean, she shoots flaming arrows compared to regular arrows the other ones do. Ooh, nice run. And the lover has to do more damage too, since he literally spits magma. What was that? Oh, oh practice. You're disappointing me now. Oh, uh, always, always dumb. Always the dumb one. I had a harder time beating my brother. Oops, she's up in the other side, shouldn't I? Uh, he does not use this deck at all. Yeah, I don't use this deck very much. Well, like I said, I played on Emma's account to see because he loves the Lava Hound. And I'm gonna undefeat it with this. Oh no, I'm just... I'm gonna see what they're throwing at me. I see legendaries. Oh no, that's so scary. No, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go chase it. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's so unfair. I feel so scared. Maybe should. Uh, we're putting that to the What the? Yeah. All right. Using the legendary stuff on me. All right. I've never seen that. Oh, that's really awesome. Oh, that's so cool. 
Give me a trainer when it has gotten better. Trainer! Alright, trainer! No, I'm not even gonna defend you. I'm gonna give you a chance. Go, trainer. The graveyard. I'm actually cheering for you, trainer. Oh man, come on now. Let's drop the. Um, you know, I'm gonna drop stuff all over the place. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, trainer got smart. Oh, yeah, I won. <laughs> what? I swear, they keep on doing that glitch. For the trainer. <laughs> it's a fake trainer. <laughs> he's, he's a no clan. I'll invite him to my clan. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. This lineup, I don't know what, what it's, this is. Um, so, uh, it, we're, we're up to 30 minutes now. So, I'm going to get, let you guys go. We'll post more more videos coming up. Um, I'll post more, more videos soon. Um, I'm going to show you how to get a bunch of free legendary cards. Yep. Uh, most of the cards I've gotten have been, been free. Um, I have bought, um, for example, give me two of them to do level this to level two. Um, I didn't buy any of those except for the one of today, the, which is going to be the third one. You need two for level two, and I have an extra one there. Uh, yeah, this one for free, uh, that one for free. Um, um, I got that one for free. So I got one, two, three, four, uh, five. I bought one there. So I have five free, and I bought that one today. Uh, six, seven. Got the both of those. All right. So I'm gonna log off. Oh wait, let's see what I get in my free chest. So, uh, after this free chest... So, after this free chest, um, we are going to retire for tonight. We will post some more videos. Like I said, I'm going to post how to get some free legendary cards. There is a pretty good secret that I'm going to let you guys know to be able to get legendary cards. And also, this for the whole Thanksgiving week, we're going to upload... Two videos today, so the YouTube channel, the, our channel is going to be filled. And thank you guys for the 2,400 views on our video. Thank you guys for so much for the support. We like to keep on smashing that like button. Yep, keep keep friend friending us, keep adding us. We we want more followers. Yeah, share us on your YouTube channel. You know, we're pretty sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's it. see what the free free chest is. Probably nothing. My gold. Eh, it's gonna be rare. Oh, legendary! <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Usually the rare goes first, though, so that was a little odd. Usually the rare, and then it's the... Yeah, that always happens for me and blue. Yeah, usually the rare's always first, and then it's uh, the common cards. That's weird. But, okay. Now, but now, now in the Legendary League, you get two rare cards. I thought it was or it's a, one. It's a to no, it was nine. It's a total of 11 cards now. Um, you almost go battle. It's, a it's 11 cards now. This is, contains at least one. So that was two because it was nine. It was nine in the other one. Um, an Ice Peak and uh, Frozen, Frozen Peak, Peak, which most of, most of the people in our clan are in Frozen Peak. You get you get 10 cards and at least one one rare. So, if you know you already got one rare, uh, one rare and there's one more card to go, you're more likely going to get an epic or a legendary. Uh, I got, I got one, I got a legendary out of that one, I've got a legendary out of this one, I've got a legendary out of this one, I've got a legendary out of that one, I've got a legendary out of a magic box. The only so, one he hasn't gone out of is this one and this one, because it's extremely rare to draft this one and this one. These two seem to be impossible to draft for some reason. Yep, so I've got a legendary out of that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. All free he boxes. He got the Lumberjack out of this one. He, what he uh, did is he accidentally, uh, he had it and he accidentally opened it with his gem. And he was really unhappy. He told me I was in the car with him uh, when we were driving home. Uh, we, he told me that he... he 
He accidentally opened it, and then he, at the last, he knew he had all of his epics, so he was going to get a legendary. He opened it, and he got the Lumberjack out of that one. Yep. Uh, I got, I got a, prince, a princess out of that one. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> I got... I got my Inferno Dragon out of the free chest. I got a princess out of that one. I believe I got the other princess out of this one. I got one Sparky out of that one. The other Sparky out of that one. Lumberjack. Um, Lumberjack. Then you got a, the other I bought. I bought one Legendary. Which, two of them. Two. Well, today, well, today, was, today. Well, it was one. And I bought... Oh, the other one that that, that, I, that I bought when it, when it was in your shop, it says buy a Legendary. It was a Lava Hound. That's what I got that I bought. Just and trash. <laughs> um, and d then the one, the other spark he got today. I wish it was, to be honest, I wish, like I said, it was the the, the, wi the wizard, the miner. I would like to play with that, tinker with my lineup a little bit. But um, the easiest way to get, if you want to get a legendary league, the easiest way to get to is using this lineup. Uh, this is supposed to be arrows. I just love the princess. So I put her in there. Um, this would this would be the lineup to use. Obviously, here if you have the miner, you put, you insert the miner there. Um, like your cards don't gotta be high. Mine are, are nine, uh, but uh, Nenes are, are eight, and I played with his, and he was very successful. This is at, uh, level six for for Nene. I don't have he a has, single rare. Yes, this is six a... for Nene, and these this is eight for Nene. His. Cool. His is three, and his is one also. But, sure. I mean, I, I won eight in a row with his. Um, and he loves a Lava Hound. He played with a bunch of different ones. Uh, we had he, he was using one that was really successful, but this one, to me, seems to be really, really, really good. It's a high, and a high elixir one, though. Usually I say keep it under under four if you want to be successful. Look at the leaderboard. That's all that are up in there. So that's it for this is for this episode. Uh, I got into Legendary League. So for all, for the few haters that we did that I post down there saying that oh for all oh, for the car, type of cards that I had for as good as I think I am, I wasn't Legendary League. Well here I am. See, and my cards ain't maxed out. So thank you very much for your time. Me and Nene the Legend, Blue the Legend, Nene the Legends appreciate your time. Please follow us. Please subscribe, subscribe to, us. to us. Please leave comments. You guys have a wonderful night. Thank you guys for watching. If you like to see more comment, please subscribe. Please like. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. i see you guys next time. Goodbye. Good night. Goodbye.